Just as the beleaguered automaker launches a vigorous defense of its vehicles, a California driver had a terrifying ride in an out-of-control Prius. CBS News correspondent Ben Tracy is in El Cajon, California this morning to tell us how it turned out. Good morning, Ben. Good morning, Maggie. Toyota says they're going to send an investigator here to El Cajon to try to figure out why this Prius sped out of control. It took a dramatic rescue by the California Highway Patrol to bring it all to an end. His 2008 Prius is now parked behind crime scene tape, and Jim Sykes says he's never driving it again. Yesterday afternoon, Sykes called 911 as his car's accelerator stuck. For the next 20 minutes, he tried in vain to stop the wild ride. I was just holding on the steering wheel with my left hand, and I was down at an angle trying to pull the, just tried to pull it back. I, I thought it was maybe just stuck. I mean, my mat was perfect. There was nothing wrong with my, my mat. The Prius was speeding down Interstate 8 near San Diego, at one point topping 90 miles per hour. The California Highway Patrol responded to his call. And I was standing on the pedals, I was standing on the brake pedal, looking at, out the window at him. When I saw him, I could smell the brakes. I saw his brake lights coming on. Driving up alongside the Prius, California Highway Patrol Officer Todd Niebert told Sykes to simultaneously put his foot on the brake pedal and pull the emergency brake. That worked. I pushed the button to shut it off. It didn't shut off, so I did it a couple more times. It did shut down and kind of rolled to a stop. This latest incident comes as Toyota is firing back at critics. After weeks of apologies, the company is now using its own scientists to demonstrate that electronics are not the source of unintended acceleration. The now, Toyota has already recalled more than eight and a half million cars and trucks. They've fixed about a million of them. Now, the owner of this runaway Prius says that he just brought his car back into the dealership to try to get it fixed, but was turned away when they told him that his car was not on the recall list. He says he now plans to bring it back. Maggie. Ben Tracy in El Cajon. Thanks, Ben. Also joining us this morning to talk more about the incident on the freeway is Public Affairs Officer Brian Pennings of the California Highway Patrol. Good morning, Officer Pennings. Good morning, Maggie. How did your officer, Officer Nybert, know how to help that driver? Well, you know, Maggie, when we get phone or when we get radio calls and when we're en route, we oftentimes prepare ourselves mentally as to what we're going to do at the situation. Officer Nybert had a uh, checklist in his mind of what he was going to go through. Fortunately, he was able to locate the driver of this vehicle before uh, something tragic happened. Uh, had one of those things that he went through on his checklist was, was having him uh, uh, heavily apply the brakes and the emergency brake at the same time. Is that something that your officers has, have been specially trained to do in light of everything that's been happening with Toyota? Well, not necessarily, Maggie. It's just a situation where uh, mentally this officer prepared himself to uh, have, it, have a checklist of things he can do to try to get this vehicle stopped. In this situation, Officer Nybert pulled up alongside him with his window rolled down using the public address system and, and gave him specific instructions to, uh, at the count of three, uh, heavily apply the brakes and the emergency brake at the same time. At that time, that's when Officer Nybert positioned his patrol car in front of the Prius uh, in an attempt to try to slow the vehicle down. So it's a, it's a very good thing. It's lucky that this particular officer knew that that was the right thing to do. Do you think that officers across the country should have special training in light of all these incidents we're seeing? Well, I don't think it's it's a specific situation other than than uh, having a checklist in your mind and, and thinking of possible scenarios of what we of what we can do to get this uh, vehicle stopped. In this situation, fortunately, using the brakes and the emergency brake at the exact same time, I uh, was able to bring the vehicle to us to uh, to slow down. Uh, once the uh, once the officer explained to the driver to do that, the vehicle slowed from over 90 miles an hour to approximately 50. The officer positioned the patrol car in front of the Prius. Uh, in case it started to accelerate again, but fortunately he was able to bring it to a stop. Once the vehicle stopped in the middle of the, of the number one lane of the freeway, the officer positioned his rear bumper against the front bumper of the Prius in case it started to accelerate again, and that's when they were finally able to turn it off. This certainly could have turned out much differently. I couldn't help but think of the incident, ironically involving one of your officers and his family when they were in that out-of-control Lexus calling for help. No one could get to them in time, and they died. So this is, this is really an unbelievable ending to this story. Officer Pennings, thank you so much. Thank you. And we noticed that he mentioned several times, Harry, that you should put your foot on the brake and raise the uh, emergency brake at the same time. And we hope that everybody got that because that was the message he really wanted everybody to hear.